Hi guys, Scott Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Welcome to Swift Tutorials. This video has been sponsored by Stevens English Education. We will talk about Stevens English Education a bit more in the later part of the video. One more last thing that I wanted to talk about in Swift programming is usage of guard statement. You are already familiar how you write a typical if statement. You write if keyword and then followed it by some expression which evaluates to a boolean value and then you write the statements that you want to execute if it is true or else you write the statements in case the boolean expression evaluates to false and you will use if let if you are working with optionals these statements can be clunky depending upon what you are doing so let's have a look at an example let me write a function and call it as print formatted name it receives first name and it is an optional string and then middle name also a optional string and then finally last name and let's make that as an optional string and inside what we basically want to do is we want to check whether all of these are not nil and then print the name appropriately otherwise print a proper error message if first name is not equal to nil and middle name is also not equal to nil and check for the last name is also not equal to nil in that case print the first name followed by a space then the middle name followed by the space and then finally the last name else we will probably just print something went wrong I am getting a warning because all these are optionals so I will have to force unwrap it and now let me invoke this particular function print formatted name Anil V Deshpande and as you can see here it is getting printed properly well some of you may say that instead of writing if can't we use if let well that is also possible I can write if let f name equals to first name and then after this I can write let m name middle name and then finally inside that if let l name last name all of these are true then print the f name m name and l name and this looks like a very complicated pyramid but this would still work if you are writing multiple if let statements like this you can just comma separate them so what do i mean by that is I can write a comma here and uh, another comma here looks much better than before you still need to have the else part which will take care of printing something went wrong and if you run this you'll get a proper output here as well so just to check whether what happens if nil is passed let me pass first name as nil and you can see here that we are getting something went wrong well all of these things are fine but the code doesn't look elegant you are writing very complicated if else statements but at the end of the day you are just checking one simple thing that these values that i am passing inside first name middle name and last name do have some expected value in this case you don't want them to be nil so when the intention is all to check whether a particular condition has been satisfied writing these very complicated if statements becomes very inelegant and that is where guard comes into picture i can rewrite the same functionality with guard in a much more better way this video has been sponsored by Stevens English Education. If you think you are in need of a one-on-one -on -one personalized English teaching lessons from a professional teacher, then you are in for a useful information. Well, regardless of whether you are a developer or not, communication and articulation skills are most important skills that you will need to develop. Justin Stevens, who is the owner of the website Stevens English Education, is a professional teacher who provides various teaching services to the students, professionals and business executives. He has been doing it for the long time and you can actually go to his website and see for his credentials. For the students, he helps them prepare for exams like IELTS, TOEFL, CELC, PIPS, SSAT and SAT and state exams. So he offers a lot of services if you want to improve your English language. 
you can go to another link where you can schedule a one hour trial with him and then if you really want to go ahead and book the services you can actually use the referral link provided below you will get a 25 dollar off when you click on this particular link and register yourself with lessons with him let's get back to the tutorial so let me write a, another function let me call it as function modify print formatted name and let the argument list be same and inside instead of using if let i will write guard first name is not equal to nil what i am actually doing is i am just guarding against all these possibilities and then i will just write else something went wrong and i will write return and outside i will write print first name middle name and last name you might be wondering what is the difference well the main difference is a guard statement will be written in such a way that you will not write what should happen if the condition is true so in the previous case we had written the statement in line number 5 which would get execute if the condition is true but however in the guard we are not telling what needs to happen if the condition is true we basically don't care if the condition is true we will just move on in this case if the condition is not true we only write else part and inside the else part we typically throw an error or print a some kind of an error message and then just return if we are not going inside the else part that basically means all these values are having the expected values so you can actually proceed further and print the first name middle name and last name and that is why if i invoke modified print formatted name function you will pretty much get the same result that you were getting earlier so the main difference is the guard statement will only be concentrating on else part and typically in the else part you just return from the function because something is not right and just like if let there is a guard let what you can do is guard let f name is equal to first name then comma separate it by let m name is equal to middle name and then let l name is equal to last name and below instead of using first name let me use f name m name and l name and this will also give you same result you might be wondering what is the difference between this if let and this guard let there is a major difference the difference is whatever that you define in the if let that is f name m name and l name the scope of these values is only inside if statement if you try to print this f name m name and l name outside the if statement you will get compilation error basically saying that they are unresolved identifiers because the scope of this f name m name and l name is not beyond this if statement however that is not the case in case of guardlet i can write f name m name and l name outside the guardlet so these things will become accessible down further below in the code so usage of guard makes it possible to write very elegant code in your swift applications so with this all the topics that i wanted to discuss in swift program language beginners course has come to an end basically this is the end of swift tutorials in the next video i would like to address what should be your next goal after learning swift that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye